Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips and today we are looking at this Argon One V3 M2 NVMe case for the Raspberry Pi 5 with its built-in NVMe um, controller and bay for the NVMe drive. It's not like the previous Gen 1 that used the M2 SATA. This is pure PCIe, so let's have a look at it. So in the box we have a little instruction manual on how to assemble this unit. It always seems to be very concise and the, um, the link to the software to control the fans. So we'll put that on later on. So let's have a look at the actual Argon One case. So it's in the same style as the previous one, just a slightly different colour on the top. There we have two full-size HDMI's, USB-C on the back. And it comes not screwed together with a little bag of parts there. So let's have a look what boards we've got inside it. So we'll just put aside the NVMe part for the moment. So as with the previous generation of this drive, there's a expansion board that converts the micro HDMI to full size HDMI. There's our USB-C and those plug in to the side of the Raspberry Pi, which is very nice. And on the top board, we have our fan, which is a uh, controllable from the Pi itself. There's a, a DAC port if you want to use the headphones. There's an infrared if you want to use the Argon infrared. There's also a jumper, so it disables the power switch and puts it always on, should you wish. And we've got the two parts where we put our um, heat sinks for the SOC and the power. And if we take off this magnetic metal top, you see you've got full access to all the GPIOs that are available on the Raspberry Pi, all nicely labelled up as well. It's very nice, makes it a very handy unit. And it's metal and it's magnetised and just clips back on the top, just like that. So all in all, very happy with that up to now. It's very well built, as, um, as you would expect from these. The only thing that concerns me is those ports, maybe it's a could be very easy to break them off I think whilst trying to install them so let's have a look at the bag of goodies we've got some rubber feet got some thermal pads got your screws and we've got the cable for the NVMe part that connects straight into the PCIe expansion header on the Raspberry Pi 5 so excellent so let's have a look at the NVMe part. So it looks like there's two pogo pins for the 5 volt and ground there. Not much to see on the bottom. But on the bottom, on the underside, we have a metal cover. So let's just take that off. And have a look underneath it. This is where our NVMe drive should live. So we've taken all the screws out, nice metal plate for um, heat dissipation of your NVMe drive. We have a thermal pad and there we have the NVMe connector. So it's not the SATA keyed, it's NVMe keyed and you can see there's separate screw holes for the lengths of the drives that you can put in. I'm going to be fitting a 2280 drive in this, but there's provisions for different uh, different sizes. And there's a screw that holds it into place. So this will be my drive when we finally do the installation. And as you can see, it fits in nicely. You fold it down and then you screw it into place. And then you put the um, heat material on and jobs are good.
So there's our Raspberry Pi 5 that we will be using. It's a Raspberry Pi 5 and the 8 gigabyte version, which I'm going to be installing into this case with all its um, rest of its little pieces. So if you want to see that video, stay tuned for part two, where we actually put this together and give it a test and see how easy it is to get an operating system actually onto the NVMe drive. So as you can see, I've got an official Raspberry Pi power supply as well. That should supply enough through the USB-C, so there shouldn't be any problems with that. Got a Kaoxia one terabyte NVMe drive. We've got the eight gig Pi five, and we've got the Argon one V three case. So, yep, yeah, stay tuned for part two, where we assemble this, put it all together, and give it a test. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that lot. And thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.